All right, guys, this thing showed up today, and it really is quite impressive looking. Uh, this is the 3A G1 Optimus. You remember I did the uh, the big uh, Dark of the Moon Optimus uh, movie Optimus a while back. This is their G1 version. They have a G1 Megatron coming as well, which we saw at uh, TFCon in Chicago. Um, this is a pre-production sample. This showed up today, so this is not final. Some of the tolerances on this will be better uh, on the final version, but this one showed up today. And it's really quite stunning. Like, you know, first thing you notice, like the proportions are a little different. Like he's got the little angled up windows. Um, and when I saw pictures of it, I, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. And then I saw the physical one at TFCon, and it was pretty cool looking. And then this one showed up, and getting to actually mess with it and play with it and move it around, it's uh, it's, it's pretty impressive. Um, these little tank gas tanks here, uh, you don't have to have them on here. There's little magnets in the uh, groove and there's a little tap around the leg and they just kind of lock into place like that these uh again maybe there'll be stronger magnets on the final uh, they, they are kind of easy to, to knock off i have done it but um but you can feel them actually lock into place there on the legs and again just real quick just size comparison i'm using my shattered glass version because he was the easiest one on to get off the shelf but um there he is with mp10 just to give you an idea of just how big and massive this thing is. He doesn't transform, uh, much like the, uh, the other figures they've done, but he is fully posable. You've got uh, his head, you hear his head ratcheting side to side, up and down, uh, his arms. There's a ball joint up in here. I'll, I'll get some close-up shots there at the end. Uh, he's got a bicep swivel, dual hinged elbows. See, he's holding onto his rifle in his hand. He's got the fingers on both hands that are posable at the knuckles. And uh, well those finger, these fingers are actually, looks like they're stuck like, oh no, there is a hinge there. There, there appears to be a hinge there, but they're kind of stuck. And I don't, assume this how it has to go on to other people. I don't want to risk breaking it, but there are hinges at the finger knuckles. There, let me see, can I, oh, there we go. All right, just support them very well, but you can see you can point the fingers. Uh, trying to do them all at once is a bit of a pain, but if you're, as long as you're careful, you can get them done. Like I said, I don't want to push too hard. There may just be some paint sticking them, but they are hinged at all the knuckles. They're on the hands. He has a mid-torso swivel, like right above the grill, and I can feel a joint for the, uh, for the at the waist, like to right here. But again, it also is a little stuck to the point where like, I could probably twist it enough to unstick it, but I really don't want to risk snapping it <laughs> at this point. Um, and a lot of that stuff, you know, it happens on pre-production samples uh, and is fixed on, on the final version. So I, I can absolutely feel the joint down here. You can see him kind of wobbling on it, but it's clearly stuck on something and I do not want to risk that. that. Oh, there we go, okay. Wobbling it back and forth a little bit, unstuck it. So yeah, so there's a waist swivel there as well. Oh, whew, that that is a huge load on my mind because I'm like, I want to show it off, but I also don't want to break this. <laughs> Seeing as how it's not mine. Um, so yeah, I'll plug his, got it back into his hand here. And then the legs, branch it out. All these little hip panels are movable uh, to allow him to, to pose. Ratcheting in the knees. You can see the legs come up fairly nicely. Ankle tilts, toe tilts, front to back on the feet as well. Nice big feet to support him. Oh, wheel base fell off again. Magnets go right in there. So you don't. You can take the. Uh, if you want to take the truck pieces off, you can pop. Uh, the, pop those off. As well, he has light up features. We'll show off in just a second. Um, let's turn him around. And show off his back. He's got. Jetpack, these little pieces right here can move a little bit. Not really a jetpack, but he's got some exhaust pipes there on the back. Painted very nicely, a nice metallic red, metallic blue here. You can open up the chest, and there is a removable matrix inside here. Kind of cool. Now, let me, uh, let me dim the lights here. Is that enough? Let's see. This may be enough for the show. So, 
his gun, if you push this piece in, you can see lights up orange. It's more impressive than that's picking up because these LEDs are still on. And there's a switch on his back right here that slides back and forth. And when you turn that on, his eyes light up. Don't know how well the eyes are showing up. Yeah, you can kind of see them. And also, and then if you click the matrix in like a clicky button, the matrix also lights up. And again, it glows a little better than the camera seems to be picking up right now. But uh, just some neat little features there, uh, glow features. The battery placement on this is super easy. And that's what I, one of the things I love about these big figures is they make it really easy to replace the batteries. So to put the batteries in the robot, you just pull this, slide this backpack off. And it looks like he takes three LR44s. I could be wrong on that, but he takes three batteries there in the backpack. Let me turn the lights back on. Right there. And then in the gun, you just pop this panel off right here. There's a little tab that lets you pop that open. And then three batteries right there in the side of the gun. So yeah, if you've already had your eye on these, this is a nice looking Optimus. Uh, I like the light up features. I like that he still has the head articulation. The, the push in matrix is cool. Um, he also has, you can take, uh, of course, you can his gun out of his hand. You can pop the hand off here. The ball joint pops off like that. And then uh, he comes with an axe that can snap on as well. This is clear orange. Is that... I'm not sure if that does something. I don't know. But, uh, springy joint there. Oh, that's probably just so you can rotate the arm. Okay. But yeah, really nicely painted, really nice detail. Again, proportions are a little non-traditional for Optimus, the way that chest angles up. But uh, depending on how you pose it, it's not a super, uh, super distracting. It looks really nice in hand. All this orange is clear, translucent orange stuck in there. Doesn't look like that lights up. So let's get up close and show them off. Lights up. Let's see if I can turn this lights back on. I was like, are on. Ah, the lights really aren't letting those eyes light up very brightly. But then uh, here's the matrix chamber. The Autobot symbol, the shiny. Lights here, the clear chrome or the clear orange on the grill. Just some really nice detail all around as well as on the uh, on the rifle. Oh, but still on. There we go. So yeah, all in all, a really nice and very large Optimus from 3A. So thanks to the guys at 3A for letting me check this out. He is really cool. I think I like him more than the movie Optimus, although I do love that movie Optimus. And I would have brought him out, but like, just, there's no room. <laughs> there's no room to show him off in this space I've got here. Um, but yeah, there it is. They're 3A's G1 Optimus Prime. Uh, very nicely done. Very glowy.